It's 6.36 in the morning on Saturday the 21st of September and it's been ages since I've set out on a walk and I'm going to go across the Who and Pevensey levels to Eastbourne. Sun's not up yet. This building is something to do with water purification but I do like the way it's been constructed to look like a barn and to fit in with the landscape. From here you'd just think it was a Sussex barn that had been here for a very long time. There are a huge number of mosquitoes about even this early in the day. I think you can just see them. Not much of a visible path here. Oh, look at that. Uh, I guess that must be a badger set. It's absolutely huge. There's another exit there by the looks of things. Oh, path goes through there. First rays of the early morning sun. Oh, I really don't like it when there's an electric fence right across the path. You've either got to go over it, <clears throat> and you wouldn't really want to get an electric shock, or you've got to go under it. I found the solution. I bent this pole down and got over it. This reminds me of that song. The corn is as high as an elephant's eye. We're coming up off the levels now. Just climbing up gently but steadily towards the village of Hu. I normally drive down this road pretty fast on my way to work. And now taking the time to walk down it, it's very interesting to see how it's just lower than the surrounding land. It's either been cut into it or I suspect more likely originally worn down by cart tracks over the years as it's just running over sandstone at this point. Making my way towards Hu Church now. little dot before the shadow is a hair. I can't get any closer to it on my phone. This is a much more civilised electric fence with a hook arrangement. Much safer. Thank you farmer. see one of these and think of shredded wheat and shredded wheat means breakfast and I think I'm getting a bit peckish I thought that crossing this main road would be the most difficult part of the walk but I got here and there was absolutely no traffic 
Wow, I've wanted to explore some little roads like this for a long time. These are the almost forgotten roads now, which would have been the main road or the only road until maybe 70, 80 years ago. So this is the former main road that I'd have travelled along if I'd have gone from Eastbourne towards Hastings. This is the direction I'd have gone. And here's a bit of the original flint surfacing which predated the tarmac, which is on top of it. If anybody wants to make slow gin, this is the place to come to gather them. Doesn't look as though many people come over here. There we are, there's beachy head sticking out into the sea. When you are following a map using GPS, it's always tricky on a marsh because it's not totally clear which side of this ditch I should be walking, whether I should be in there with the sheep or out here. At the beginning of the field, there was no particular sign as to which way I should go. Now at the end of the field I can see a, a little bridge but of course which side of that ditch it's on I won't know until I get there. They've been sheared recently. Hooray! I made the right call. <laughs> Actually, it wouldn't have mattered because the ditch, believe it or not, curves round. I'm going over the bridge <laughs> and then I'm the same side as I would have been had I walked the other way. Oh, well, at least I had the satisfaction of getting the path right. It's quite often you find former railway sleepers acting as bridges, but it's not all that often, in my experience, that you find the rails as well. And you think, how did these rails, how did this bit of rail come to be here? How old is it? Why was it put here? Yeah, that's, that's actual rail that looks as if it's been used. This piece certainly has. Look. It doesn't look as if many people cross this bridge in the course of a year. Oh my goodness, ouch. I came without a hiking pole today and that was a mistake. They're very good for swatting brambles down. Ouch. <laughs> I had no idea that that trail came out at the Star Inn. Ooh, we've had a few meals there. This would have been a good place to get back from. Unfortunately, there's only an hourly service, which I've just missed by about two minutes. Never mind. <laughs> 